You got to go and dig those holes. Man, I'm tired. With broken hands and withered souls, emancipated from all you know. You got to go and dig those holes. that are knotted at the end. So this man's tied up here. The flagellator goes <coughs> to work on him with the cat. After the third lash, the back's got welts all over it. By the tenth lash, the back is permanently scarred. And by the seventeenth lash, the doctor says, stop, he's had enough, cut him down. Lie him on the ground, face down. Get the bucket of salt. You've heard this expression, there's no need to rub it in. Well, that's where it comes from. They rubbed the salt into his wounds, it caused excruciating pain, and it cauterised the wound, it stopped any infection. So they dragged this wretch up to the hospital and let him recover. C63s was the transfer of money from your private bank account to your prison account, or vice versa. Blue forms, if you wanted to see the superintendent, you had a complaint, you wanted to change jobs or something else, you had to fill out a bluey. The mail was censored coming in and going out so nobody could write any death threats. Over here, you've got a telephone. To the tea. What is that you smelling, dog? That's me. I don't take showers and I don't brush my teeth. That's all I do is dig holes, eat and sleep. There is no lake, there is no shade, there is no place to hide. So just sit and wait to fry. You got to go.
and it just let enough razor wire for you to get the, uh, the feeling of it, so as to speak. <laughs> On the wall there, broken glass has been cemented into the top of the wall. That was the predecessor uh, to... The trap door would crash down, the man would go to the end of the drop, the noose would tighten up, throwing the neck backwards and breaking the third vertebrae. Death would usually be instant. The body was allowed to hang for 15 minutes. The doctor would then go down into the pit with a stethoscope, examine the body and pronounce it dead. The um, body would then be removed from the rope, put into a coffin, brought upstairs, put into the hearse and taken around to the cemetery for a pauper's burial. There were 44 people hanged in here, 43 men, one woman, her name was Martha Rendell. She was hanged in 1909 for murdering her three stepdaughters by pouring hydrochloric acid down their throats. The last man to be hanged in here was in 1964, and he is, ironically enough, buried on top of her. Now, the hangman was a Melbourne pharmacist. He would come over here the day before, he would check the equipment and then weigh the person to be hanged so he could arrive at the correct drop. Next morning he'd do the job and go home. Uh, the Pierpoint family, grandfather, father and son were the last three hangmen in Britain. originally like when the convicts built it and uh, we're very pleased about getting this heritage listing so the place has been returned to exactly what it looked like to let as many people see what life was like not all that long ago.